lesson, lesson 2, we're going to be doing the Ken Burns effect, which looks like this. So it's zooming in, and as it gets to the top, we can zoom out on under the picture. So here's how it looks like. So let's get started. So we're going to get file, import, we're going to choose our files. So I have files all ready for you guys. Um, I'll try, just look them up online, it's pretty simple. So I have Statue of Liberty, and then I have another Statue of Liberty file. So let me select the other one, and let's import them. So now that we've imported the files, uh, we can go ahead and drag them to our timeline. And there we've dragged them. Now, let's get started with the Ken Burns effect. So first I'll make these large enough so that I can do a nice imitation of the Ken Burns effect. And then we'll get started. Okay, now they're large enough. So now what you want to do is you want to double click. You want to click the first one and go to effect controls, go to motion, which basically allows you to do like make it large, small, and then click this little timer button for precision and scale. And we're going to put a, I guess, marker. It's called the keyframe in the beginning of the of this photo. So what that will do is it'll start like this and then the keyframe will start like this so we want it to start like this and then we'll what it will do in this we want it to end larger so first we're going to do the scale which makes it zooms in out so we can make it 0 43 so i'm going to make it 30 it looks good and we can see the whole photo the position allows you to move it right left and up and down it's like x and y axis so i think i like this this is a starting point and at the end of it, so at the end of this 15 seconds, approximately, before the other one ends, I want it. Here, let me zoom in for extreme accuracy. There. Okay. So it's pretty much right there where the whole thing ends. So right there. That seems pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to add a keyframe here and in this keyframe we'll have it zoomed in right into the face of the Statue of Liberty there and then we're going to go to this picture click it and then we're going to start this picture zoomed in and so as you can see we have this so we're going to start with a zoomed in picture so we can start it right here zoomed in and then we can go ahead and click the timer button to add those keyframes and at the end which I'll make it right here because I don't want to make the video too long is gonna end like a normal picture so zoomed out totally and in the center so we can center it like that and now it's centered so now I'm gonna play it back for you guys and you'll see how it works it will slowly zoom in as you can see here so let's start from the beginning okay it's gonna slowly zoom in and as it gets there it's gonna zoom out in on the other picture so as you can see, it's slowly zooming in slowly zooming in, slowly zooming in and um it's gonna zoom out now so zoom out boom so that's the Ken Burns effect so it's zooming in and zooming out. So that was my first video or second lesson on the Ken on the Premiere Pro editing. Thanks for watching.